Uganda adopted the village health team's strategy in 2001. The village health teams were meant to act as a bridge in the health service delivery between the community members and medical workers at the various health facilities. But the teams worked as volunteers without pay. Recently, the government updated the original strategy by replacing the village health teams with community health extension workers. As part of the changes, government has also resolved to start paying the community extension workers. Well, the, the decision to pay these people is not debatable. They must be paid. And government will pay them to facilitate them. Dr. Cheng made a revelation on Friday morning during a breakfast meeting organized by the World Health Organization in Kampala. The meeting was attended by foreign envoys, representatives of international organizations, and various health experts. And I want to assure you that once we start that, we shall be on track. Because the current strategy of the community health extension workers was very well designed, but they need to be paid. Voluntarism has a limit. They need to be paid so they can do their work. And they need to be guided through the government structures. However, it's not clear whether government will sustainably meet the financial requirements of the community health extension workers. The World Health Organization Breakfast was organized ahead of the 70th anniversary celebrations to be held in Uero districts on Saturday under the theme Universal Health Coverage, Everyone, Everywhere. Health is the most profitable investment for any country. The point is that we have to focus on primary health care. Jingo Francis, NTV.